All right, it is time for the Currently Reading Challenge TBR for week number two, May 2023. Hey everyone, it is Shannon, and I'm super excited to be here today and to share with you this video. This is going to be my second week's picks for the Currently Reading Challenge. I have my jars at the ready, fiction ready to be picked, non-fiction ready to be picked. Um, so how this works is each week I pick five titles from my TBR jars, three fiction and two non-fiction and that creates my TBR for the week. Um, I started this challenge a couple of years ago when I realized my currently reading was consistently quite Hi, um, and May tends to be my traditional time to do the challenge, although I did do it once in the fall and I may do that again this year. We'll have to see how things go. Um, so the goal for this particular round is 1,000 pages over the four weeks that I'm working on the challenge, and I've broken that down to 250 pages a week or 50 pages a day over a five-day reading week. I can continue to read on the other two days. I just like to be finished my goal by the fifth day and then sort of like have two days free. <laughs> so that's why I work on it that way. Um, I've tried different things over the years and that's definitely what works best. So yeah, I am looking forward to this and I think we should just get this party started. So as I said, I have my fiction titles, non-fiction titles, and as always, we will start with fiction. Let's uh, shake that up. I feel like I should get a smaller jar, but um, I know I always use this one. I always use this. I have so many Nescafe jars. Okay, so the first, <laughs> the first pick for this round is what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh, it's gonna be this one. It's gonna be this one. Is that upside down? That looks like True Blood season two. Okay, I forgot I put this in here. I have three episodes left for True Blood season two. Okay, so I guess I'll be having some TV watching. Um, so this is in my fiction jar because I want to read the next book in the series. Um, with book to TV adaptations, what I do is I watch the TV series and then I read the book. So I have last January, <laughs> I got... Uh, Dead Until Dawn, which is the first book in the True Blood series from my t first TBR poll. I had already watched rewatched season one, so I read the book. And then last spring, I started watching True Blood season two, and I haven't finished it, but I want to go back. I want to finish it so I can read the next book. I actually ideally would like to finish watching the TV series. I've only watched the first three seasons. I really enjoyed it when it came out, and then I just didn't have access to it after a certain point because it's on a, it was on a higher-end cable um, uh, station, and um, so it just, what I didn't have I didn't have that anymore, but now it is available on, um, you know, TV has changed so much over the years and now it's available on a service that you can subscribe to directly. So I am looking forward to watching this. I did and uh, I did watch the episode that I was really looking forward to. There were some themes in this that I wasn't expecting. If you're unfamiliar with True Blood, which I guess is possible, it's an urban fantasy uh, uh, mystery uh, I wouldn't even call it romancy, but it's very steamy. It's on HBO, so it's got all of the HBO about HBO things to eleven for you know. It's very gory. It's very racy, um, and I do feel a bit differently watching it now than I wa when I watched it when it first came out. I um, and and I responded negatively to some things, and I wasn't expecting that. Anyway. Um, it was very, oh, like, it's very, very intense. Anyway, so, wow, okay, so I'm going to be watching some TV. Um, okay, I have three episodes left to finish the season, uh, so that is the first pick. Wow, okay, so, all right. <laughs> okay, the first non-fiction pick of the week. Right, that might be tough to, well, I will figure it out. The first non-fiction pick is this one. A uh, Little Devil in America, Notes on Praise of Black Performance. Yay! Oh, I'm so excited about this one. Okay, so this one is, oh, and I forgot to show the True Blood. True Blood. So there we go. That's season two, from season two. Actually, I think that's from season one. No, that's from season two. Okay, so now the 
first nonfiction pick is A Little Devil in America. So this is by Hanif Abdurakib. This is a nonfiction work and I started reading it, gosh, I think it might have been two years ago now. Um, and I'm really excited about this one because it tends to have really long library holds, but my hold came in. So I am looking forward to getting back to this one. I have a fair amount of pages left, 373 pages left on this one. And um, it's been great so far. And um, I love reading books works about uh, the arts and so I am looking forward to uh, this one. I've read several works by Hanif Abdurakib, one about a tribe called Quest um, and one uh, uh, several poetry collections as well and he has I first uh, he has a course on is it Skillshare? I'm trying to remember where I uh, it might be Skillshare. I think that's where I saw him first as for a po teaching a poetry class there why i was watching a poetry class i have no idea <laughs> It's been a couple years. So anyway, so I really enjoy reading his works and I am looking forward to getting back to this one. It has been a while. So there we go. Okay, now next fiction title will be, and literally my hold came in like three days ago, so I'm very, very happy. All right, fiction. <laughs> Beautiful creatures. Oh, that creates a bit of a challenge. Okay, so I have Beautiful Creatures. I have 491 pages left, which is a lot. This is by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stahl. This is a YA paranormal romance urban fantasy. Isn't it a paranormal romance? I feel like it's more of an urban fantasy. Um, I started reading this. I've read this before. Wow, we're just going back in time because this is one of the oldest. This actually is not one of the oldest books on my Goodreads TBR. The second book is one of the oldest books on my Goodreads TBR. And I want to, it's been so long, it's been over 10 years. So I wanted to reread this one uh, before diving into the second one. Um, and I started reading it last summer. I think I got it physically from the library. And then I switched to reading it digitally because it is, it, you know, it's a big book. Um, and I just, I felt a little like, wow, I'm kind of just not like I read a lot of YA paranormal like oh like you know 10 to 12 12 years ago and I haven't been reading as much and I was like I'm not it was very angsty and and then I just put it to the side and never came back to it I actually did not even put it on Goodreads it's just one of the reasons why sometimes the numbers that I say I'm currently reading don't quite add up to Goodreads and I don't know why I didn't put it on Goodreads I guess because I've already read it I don't know I don't well this is and the conflict it creates is reading it while watching True Blood. They're both urban fantasy, but they're both back in time. And maybe it's just a back in time week. I don't know. So wow, I I wow, I am not feeling the enthusiasm for that one. Um so all right, well I'll have to figure something out about that one. It's got a lot of pages. It's a tough one to count though, because the I'm reading it through overdrive and Hopefully I made a cheat sheet for it, because sometimes when you change the font, the amount of pages per chapter changes, so I'll just have to find the one I referenced. Anyway. All right, second nonfiction for the week. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> no, no clarity there. All right, let's go with this one. <laughs> what shall it be? That looks upside down. Oh, I think I know what it is. Is it? Yeah. Mammals! The, and I never know how to say this. Is it Dorling Kinsley Handbook? <sighs> okay, and I have 282 pages left of this one. And I'll tell you, this one's a bit more of a slow read. So, Mammals. This is another one that I got from the library last year. I got it physically. I think I just like found it on the shelves. Um, and then I had to put it aside because I didn't have access to it. Um, but then I found that it is available on Internet Archive. You can borrow it from Internet Archive from their library. So, I have been enjoying this one. I think I'm in, I'm reading, I think I'm in the middle of 
primates, I think. Um, and it very much is like one, I love it. It's like classification and like, you know, it has a picture or a photo of, of the animal and what they're, where um, they're found. And um, the I think it has the gestation and how many young they have and what they eat and then a little descriptor and I even just really like the descriptors of the different uh, mammals because it 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 it's I love things that describe things because sometimes I have trouble describing things so even just the color like how the different color like buff you know like I'm like oh buff that's a color I never think of that as a color I think of that as sort of like an action like buffing you know and um or buffering that's a different word though um so um yeah, so I just, I really enjoy reading this one. I was so thrilled when I found it, but it is a very slow read. So yeah, oh, mammals, yay! <laughs> this is a very strange combination. <laughs> All right, are we on the last and final pick? Oh gosh, I hope it's something with lots of really fast pages because, <laughs> and I say, yeah, three, 282 pages left for mammals. Okay, so fiction. Oh, it's this one. It just jumped, jumped right in there. I think it's upside down. Nope, I think that's upside down. I can't remember. I did something to help the upside downness, and I don't know if it's helping. Okay, what do we got? Uh, a wicked game. Sixty. Or sorry, 76 pages left. A Wicked Game. So two weeks in a row. So this is a historical romance. It's by Kate Bateman. And Bateman, it's part of the Ruthless Rivals series. This I started reading for the Who Picked This Book book club, but I did not finish it in time for the book club. And so it came here in the Currently Reading Challenge. And now we have two in a row with A Wicked Game. Okay, so... Historical romance. This one's about um, two people from sort of rival families that really like to sort of like bug each other and dare each other to do things. And now that they're older, sometimes the dares take on a different flavor. <laughs> and um, I quite enjoyed reading it last week. I'm um, not going to talk too much about that because I'll talk about that in my weekly wrap up. But I guess, you know, spoiler alert, I didn't finish it. <laughs> But I'm actually really thrilled because 78 pages is is a good amount of pages and um, to it's not tons of pages though. <laughs> it's not tons of pages. Anyway, so and I always it's so funny. Once I get under 100 pages, I'm like all I can see is the finish line. So I try like this challenge is not about finishing titles it's about reading pages but honestly once it's under 100 I want to finish so this is a very very different from week one for sure so let's do the math so with the wicked game we have 60 sorry 76 pages left mammals I have 282 pages left so that was about 350 okay so 350 for these two and then Beautiful Creatures, it's 491, so I got a lot of that. So that's almost 500 pages, so that gives us about 850. And then uh, The Little Devil in America is another 375 pages. So 850 to 950, 1050, 1050, 1025, I think. Last week I didn't do the math right. I, for, I added and then didn't continue to add one of the titles. So over 1,000 pages here, plus three episodes of True Blood, which is about three hours. This is a very strange... <laughs> combination of things and also I have two romances two urban fantasies and two slower reads mammals is a slower read and little devil in America is a slower read if I remember correctly so I might have to get a little creative on how I spend my time to get to my 50 pages a day and 250 pages for the week but and now I'm only have one physical book no digital books oh and I do have a bonus read this week um, my buddy read with Izzy and Kay Kelly is um is coming up we are reading a new series uh called I think the series is called the flight of the phoenix no the, th the series is called Nathaniel Flood Beastologist and it's by R.A. Lefevers I always want to say Lefebvre, but that's not how it's... Oh, that's not a great... So this is a kid's illustrated adventure... Are we getting it? 
uh, story. I only read, need to read half of it this week. I think it's about 150 pages. So I just, I am giving myself two weeks to read it. I certainly do not need two weeks to read it, but I just don't want to stress about it. The live show I think is around the 26th or something like that, I think. I will put it in the description box below. It is the beginning of a new series, so if you would like to join us, feel free to do so. Um, it's a bit of a random pick. I don't have any recommendations for it. I just found it, I think, on a list of illustrated kids' books. And um, so if we enjoy the series, we'll likely continue to read it. <clears throat> but if we don't, we may not. I don't know. I think, like, I mean, it's about a kid who's a beastologist. I think that sounds like a lot of fun. So I'm going to add that into the mix this week. I also... I got some kids' books at the library, so I think I'm going to also just add this one, T-Rex by Molly Idol. And it's just a kids' picture book about, um, it looks like some people who invite a dinosaur to tea. So I'm going to add that into the mix. I think, <laughs> I think I don't want to add anything to too many pages. I think that, and I just, I'm, I'm trying to read more kids books this year. Um, so I think I missed the picture, this readathon, but, um, yeah, I just, whenever I go to the library, if they have stuff available on the cart, I buy it. So that was like 50 cents and I'm really looking forward to it. So anyway, so this is a strange week. Um, but, um, they almost always are. So two romances, two urban fantasies, uh, uh, Little Devil in America, so per performing arts nonfiction. I mean, you know, it is a more challenging work, though, for sure, um, in terms of, um, uh, you know, prejudice. Um, and uh, in that, so it's a heavier work from, from that sense. Um, and, um, but, uh, it also has been very good. So I'm looking forward to continuing that. And then, uh, Beautiful Creatures, True Blood, Daring Game, and Mammals. I think that's a, that's a pretty good fit. Oh, it's interesting that I get Mammals and Beastology, <laughs> Beastologist in the same week, and the, the dinosaur, the dinosaur book. I mean, I just, I am just loving kids' books these days. I just... It's not even just because they're fast reads, but like, yeah, see? Oh my god, here we go. Dear Mr. Rex, it has been so long since I have seen you. Do drop by for on Friday for afternoon cup of tea. Your friend, Cordelia. I mean, just very sweet. So, anyway, so that is my week. <laughs> Beautiful creatures, too, the urban fantasy elements. Oh, there are some things that I love about that book. I hope I enjoy it on this round. Honestly, it's been almost a year since I read it last. I'm going to be tempted to go back to the beginning, but then I won't get to count those pages. So maybe I won't. It's a reread. I think I remember it. I don't remember it very well. Anyway, I will figure it out. That is for later today to sit down and figure out how I'm going to approach these things. Um, tomorrow, my weekly wrap up for week one will go up. And so that's going to be my schedule. Sundays will be my TBRs. Mondays will be my weekly wrap ups. And I think that's going to be my schedule for May. Um, and um, and then I'll come back with um, more videos, different videos. I don't know how, how June's going to go, but that's my plan for May. And we'll have to see how things go. Oh, Mel asked if I had a playlist for all of the currently reading challenge uh, titles uh, or, or videos, which I don't, but I might try and do. If I do manage to do it by the time this video is up, I will leave it in the description box below. Thank you, Mel, for asking. That's actually a great idea. I usually sort of like link all of the previous ones for the current challenge in whatever video, like this week I'll put like last week's TBR, but having a playlist makes a lot of sense. And then, um, you know, if you're coming to this new, you can go back and see how all of the other rounds went. And I do, I did do vlogs for that first May two years ago, and I wish I had the energy to do vlogs more because for me, it really shows me what my life was like to, to see all of those little moments. And I do want to do vlogs. I just, I don't ha think I have the video editing software anymore, so it's about figuring out that tech piece and then um, 
deciding what to vlog about. <laughs> so anyway, I have my five picks for the week. I got to get these organized and see what my approach is going to be. And I will be back tomorrow with my to share with you how my first week went. And uh, and then next week with more reads and more progress. Fingers crossed. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another video very soon. Take care.